Okay, now that you solved the orange side and the red side, or whichever color that you solved, um, put the solved centers to the right and left side. So now we're going to be using the double R and double L layers, and then the front and top and bottom layers to move the pieces around. And okay, now what I'm going to do is before I showed you the 1x2 block until you make a 2x3 block and then a 1x3 block, I'm going to show you another technique which is making a 1x3 block, another 1x3 block, and a third 1x3 block. And so I'll do an example. Um, first, let's. Okay, I'm going to do the yellow side. So, what I need is to first of all um, put the bar horizontal. So, then we already have one, and we need one other center edge piece. So, if you look around, here's another center edge piece. So, you've got to put it vertical, like, or to the right because it needs to go to the right and then bring it up so then it makes a 1 by 3 bar and now turn it vertically so then you can do the double slice okay and now here's two um, center corners put it so it's horizontal and here's the other center middle or center middle center piece and you bring them both down so it pairs up into a one by three block now you put it vertically and bring it up so it pairs up like a two by three block and now here's a one by two block already paired up you put it horizontal and here's another corner or center corner so you bring it down so it pairs up into a one by three block now you turn it so it's vertical and then you bring it up. So now there's three centers. Now let's now the next step is instead of doing like the white side, try doing the blue or green side. Um it so we're basically to start off we do um, opposite sides and then we do two adjacent sides and then the two last layers are adjacent so I'm gonna solve the green side now um, okay looking around I'm gonna solve it like the one by three block method that I showed you just before so there's a horizontal bar this um, center edge piece is to the left so you bring it up so it makes a one by three block and now you put it vertically now what when I did that and mess up um, the three by three block that I already did so you just bring it back so it preserves the three by three block now looking around okay here's a one by two block and here's um, a corner centerpiece so turn it so it's on the top left because the other two are on the top side and bring it down so then it makes a three one by three block and now bring it vertically and undo the move and now what you've got to do is bring it up so it makes the one two by three block turn it 180 degrees and bring it back so you preserve the 3 by 3 block that you've already done okay here's the center edge piece it's um, horizontal like it's supposed to be and here's another um, center corner so it's on the top side and this is on the top side so what you've got to do is bring it down so it pairs it up and then bring it out of the way and undo the move to preserve the 3x3 three three block now you've got to keep it um, horizontal 
Now let's look for the other green corner, center corner, which is right here. So what you've got to do is bring it down. And since this two, one by 2 block is to the top, you've got to turn the front side so it's on the top left. So then when you bring it down, it makes a 1 by 3 block. Now you put it vertically. And then undo the moves. And it makes a 3x3 three three block. And also, I got lucky and preserved the 3x3 three three block there. Okay, now let's get on to the last two layers. Or the last two centers, I mean. Okay, um, what you basically do is solve one one color. So I'm going to solve the blue side. And here's a one by or a center edge. So I'm going to put it so it's vertically so when I bring it up it makes a one by two block. Now I'm going to kick it out of the way and or move it out of the way and then undo the move. And now here's a 1x3 block or a 1x2 block. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a 2x2 two two block. And then bring it out of the way and undo the move. Now here's a 1x2 block. Turn it so it's vertically and it's the top right. So then since this is on the top left section, when you bring it up, it makes a 2x3 block. Um, get it out of the way and bring down the unsolved layer. Okay, now this is the most complicated part of the centers. So this this you have to use your brain. So if you can see there's the one by two block here already done and it needs to go right here. So it also needs to be paired up with this last corner. So what you can do is you, since it's in the bottom right, you can bring down this face and then um, make it so it's on the bottom left side and then when you bring it up, it pairs up the 1x3 block and then you make it vertical and then kick kick out this piece, this one by three, 180 degrees, and bring it back. And I'll go over more detail on the last two centers. Okay, um, if, if you're doing the last two centers, and then you end up with two center corners or two center edges needing to be flipped, so basically you have all the whites except for one and all the blues except for one. What you do is you've got to put both of the um, colors that needs to move to the top right. And then you kind of do this sequence of moves. So you bring it down, over, down, over up, over, up, and then over. And that solves that problem. And I'll do the same example for when you have two edges that need to be flipped or switched. Put them both to the right. And then do the same thing. Bring it down, over, this time bring the middle layer down and then over and then up over up over and that's all you need to know in solving the centers